welcome to the channel today i wanted to try out these sharpie creative markers i got a set of just four of them when i went to an art fair recently they had a little truck there that they were showing off their new markers and you got to go and try them out and then they gave each person a set of two so my husband and i were both there so we each got a set of two it looks like they have two different styles they've got their bullet nibs which are a little bit chunkier and I've got a, a nice size bullet nib and then they have the brush nibs which are a lot thinner and have a nice little brush nib on them and I'm going to go ahead and do a little bit of swatching so that I can try them out and just compare them to the Ardex acrylic markers that I used a couple of videos ago. The four colors I ended up with were red, white, blue, and yellow. So let's just go ahead and try some of these out. Here is the yellow one. I'm going to just try it out on some black paper and see how opaque it is. That's not too bad. Uh, you can see through it a little bit, but that's kind of expected for a yellow marker. And then here is a red. This is more of the bullet nib. You can see the difference in the size of these guys. The ink flow is pretty nice. It's um, very similar to the Ardex marker ink flow. And here's the white one. That's not too bad. And then let's grab the blue bullet nib. And then to be fair, I grabbed out four of the Ardex markers in white, yellow, red, and blue. I don't have the darker blue like is in the Sharpie, but I thought it would be interesting to just kind of see how they compare to each other. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the uh, Ardex markers right here next to it. Oh, that seems a lot more vibrant right away. So that's interesting. We'll see how it dries. Oh, opening these up one-handed is not easy. I feel like the uh, the nib on the Ardex is uh, stiffer. The the brush nib is a little bit stiffer of a um, of a nib than on the Sharpies. Let me go ahead and grab one of the Sharpies and just kind of try on the next one another. So this is Sharpie. Oh. Yeah, I can feel it kind of bending quite a bit. And then we'll come over here. Yeah, I think that the, the nib on the Sharpie is more flexible than on the Ardex. So I noticed that like uh, the white seems a little bit more opaque with the Ardex. The colors seem a little bit, like the yellows definitely seems a little bit more vibrant with the Ardex than the Sharpie. Uh, the red Sharpie actually seems more vibrant on here. The blues are, I think, relatively comparable. I mean, obviously one is darker than the other, although that's interesting. Up here, I would say that this white is um, less opaque than that. So I think it has to do with how fast you are laying it down. So if you kind of go nice and slow, and let a lot of ink come out. I think they're probably fairly comparable. Yeah, those are looking pretty good. The one thing that I did notice is I wrote this with the uh, Sharpie brush and I wrote the Ardex with the Ardex brush. And I like writing with the Sharpie brush nib better. I don't know, I just feel like I have more control. Even though it felt uh, a little bit more flexible, I feel like I have more control over it versus the, the Ardex. It felt like it, yeah, I think, I think earlier I s might have said that the Ardex was um, less flexible. Maybe it is like kind of flexing more. I don't get that nice sharp point as easy with the Ardex as I do with the Sharpie. That's interesting. So there's the Sharpie nib. And there's the Ardex nib. Oh, there it is. I think this one is just a finer point than this one. This just seems smaller overall. Interesting. Both the Ardex and the Sharpies are marketed as bleed proof and I can see that they didn't bleed through on this black paper and I've already tried them out in my sketchbook and neither of them bled through at all. I did a little swatching in here when I got them. Oops. There you go. And if I flip back to the page before, 
there's no no bleeding through. So I did a little bit of research online to find out a little bit more about these Sharpie markers and how much they cost and how many colors there are and that sort of thing. And from what I can find online, there appear to be about 12 different colors available. So you can get a pack of 12 of them on Amazon for 20 bucks. Whereas the Artix acrylic markers that I have is a pack of 30 for $30. So the Artix acrylic markers are about a dollar a piece. These are a little bit closer to $2 a piece. And overall, I really like the Artix markers and, and for the price I'm definitely going to stick with the Artix markers. All in all I think the quality of each of them are pretty on par. As you can see here I've got my Sharpies over here, my acrylics over here, or sorry my Artix over here and uh, both of them have around the same opacity. The ink flow is very comparable. I think I like the brush nib on the Sharpies a little bit better because I feel like I can get a little bit better control with the brush nib on these than with the Artix. And so if I want to do something like I want to sign something or something like that, I'm probably going to reach for the Sharpie over the Artix marker just because I can get better control with it. But overall, I think that they both work pretty similarly. I see that they can both uh, blend a little bit. They will both tear up my uh, sketchbook paper if I put too much uh, paint down and like I said they are both around the same opacity. Neither the Sharpies nor the Artex need any sort of priming before they're ready to go. You just pull them out of the package and they are ready to go unlike Posca's where you have to pump them quite a bit to get it primed and ready to go. These are just ready to go right out of the package. I was looking over the colors available in the Sharpies and it looks like they have the same colors available in the brush and the bullet nibs and from what I can see in the 12 pack on Amazon they have a red, an orange, a yellow, three different greens, kind of a, a grass green, a um, kind of a lighter green and a sage green, a blue, that's, a, that's this dark blue that I have here, a purple, a I guess it's a pink, a white, a gray, and a black. And I just thought that was kind of an odd selection of colors, especially with those three different greens. I'm not really sure why you need three different greens. Uh, and you don't have a whole lot of variety in your blues. You don't have a couple of blues. But um, with the Artix markers, like I said, you've got a couple of different sets that you can purchase where you can kind of get a better selection of colors and get the colors kind of more closer to what you might want to use. I'm not saying don't buy the Sharpies because they seem to be really nice. I'm just letting you know some information so you can make the decision on your own. Anyway, I hope this was helpful to you. I know I appreciate watching uh, product review videos so that I can get an idea of what products are out there and whether they are something that I am interested in purchasing for myself. So hopefully this helped you decide whether these are something that you are interested in. Let me know in the comments below if you like review videos like this uh, or if you like to have people do a little bit more kind of intensive use of the product. It was a little bit difficult to do with just the four colors, one of them being white. Uh, but if you have ideas for something that you would like to see me do with those markers, let me know and maybe I'll give it a try in a future video. Anyway, I do plan on doing more art in the next video. Like I said, I just didn't really have time to do a lot of art this week. So I thought getting a nice little product review video out to you would be useful and I uh, would still get me in front of your faces and uh, so you didn't have to miss me. I will see you guys again next week. Have a great week. Bye.